Alright guys, hello and welcome to your 29th Java tutorial in which we are going to be going over variable length arguments. Alright, you might be asking yourself, what are variable argument lists? Well then, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we're going to go over today. Alright, as you can see I have a blank program, nothing in it, just a main method. Uh, it would be kind of annoying if I talked in that voice all one tutorial, you know. Just to piss you guys off. Alright, anyways, uh, we have a blank main method, and let's change that by creating a method. Well, what method is this, you ask? Well, it's going to be a method that averages numbers, but not just a specific amount of numbers. It can take any amount of numbers. That's right, guys. And that, we implement that by using variable length arguments. Alright, let's go ahead and create this magical method. Uh, it'll be a public static int, uh, for now at least, average and I'm gonna leave out the parameters for now so it has to be static once again uh, well, not once again first time I'm saying this uh, to match these modifiers here because we're gonna be using a method in our main method and it has to be static I'll probably go over this later uh, but you know for now just just take my word for it alright and what magical parameter goes in here I, I hope you guys remember methods by the way you know this is an int this is a return type it's gonna return the average of all the numbers in here uh, and what 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 is this you know argument variable argument? <laughs> I, I I can't even say it variable length argument list. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to type some code here, and nope, not that. And there we go. And I'll explain it, of course. Oh no, let's just go on. No, I'm kidding. I'll, I'll explain it quickly. Uh, so this int pretty much uh, specifies what types of numbers are going to be going in here. This dot 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 or ellipsis represents that there can be any numbers, any number of integers in uh, these parameters, uh, and how they're going to be called uh, simply by, uh, you know, average. They're going to be separated by commas, if you know what I mean. It's going to be one, two, three, like so, four. I meant. All right, and this numbers thing right here uh, is the array, and the array is pretty much where all the numbers that we put here are stored. So all the numbers that we put in uh, between commas in uh, as parameters for this method are stored in this numbers array that we can easily access afterwards. All right, so let's go ahead and find the average. Average is the sum divided by the number of numbers. Uh, so first we need to create a few variables. One is going to be the sum. We're going to preset it to zero, and the other one's going to be the actual average. Once again, preset that to zero. Uh, let's create a for loop here, and it's going to be an uh, enhanced for loop, or you know, a special type of for loop created for arrays. I hope you guys remember how to do this, or if not, just review it in uh, one of the, my last tutorials. I've created an easy to manage playlist, and you can check that out there, uh, of my Java tutorials at least. And for int i, we put a colon and we put numbers. All this is going to do is create an integer i. Every time it loops through, i becomes the next element in the numbers array. So what do we want to do every, each time it loops? We just want to add i to the sum. So we effectively add all the numbers, all the numbers from the numbers array to our sum. After that, we can simply calculate our average by uh, taking our sum and dividing it by numbers dot length. Now I'm not sure I actually went over this, but numbers, but length is a uh, dot length uh, is a parameter of any array, and all it does is return the number of elements in that array, or the number of numbers in this case, which is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, so, without further ado, now that we've calculated our average, we can simply return it to match our return type at the beginning of the method. Alright, fair enough, simple enough. Uh, let's go ahead and put this method to some quick use. System.out.println. Let's try that out. Alright, so let's do something very simple at first like average of two numbers two and two two plus two four divided by number of numbers which is two would be two the average of these is two we're correct but check this out now we if we were trying to do this with you know definite arguments we would have to create an argument for every every element uh, that we're trying to put in so we would either have to have a method for exactly two numbers we would have to have another method for three numbers, but you know with this, all the elements we put, it can be completely unlimited. All of them are stored in numbers, and we find the average of all of them, which is very, very convenient and handy. Uh, so once again, let's try something a bit harder. One comma two comma three. Uh, well, that's 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 okay. That's not too hard at all, you know. And let's let's try one more. 
1 comma 2 comma 5. Now as you notice, uh, the sum of all these is 8 divided by 3. It will not be a whole number. I, I believe it will be 2 and 2 thirds. And let's see what we get. Well, we get 2. Well, that's actually kind of obvious why we get 2, because uh, the return type is an integer. And I don't know if I've went over this or not, but in this case our sum is 8, our numbers dot length is 3. When it's divided, uh, we get uh, 2.66667, or 2 and 2 thirds. And since it's an integer, what it does to this, to this value, it has to automatically cut off everything to the right of the decimal point. So it just does this, and it prints out uh, just a plain 2, as, as we saw. Uh, if you want to change this, uh, we, all we need to do is simply change the type of the sum to float, and once again, type of the average to float again. Uh, all this does, we're pretty much just dividing the float sum by the float numbers dot length, and since we're working with floats, uh, or or doubles for that matter, uh, it doesn't doesn't actually, uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't want to cut it off is what I meant to say, yeah. So this number it will not cut it off because a float can store values to the right of the decimal point. Uh, so simple enough, we can still only have integer arguments for this. I I just like to keep it nice and simple, integer. Integer values, if you you want, you can try to make a one with uh, double arguments, but, you know, nonetheless. Uh, return average, oh yeah, and we have to change our return type to float. Simple enough. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that run button for 1, 2, and 5. Let's see what we get. Biome, 2.66666667. I'm not sure how many sixes, I was six sixes, I believe, uh, in there. So, uh, there we go, guys. Uh, simple little, you know tutorial on uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. what is it called what is it called variable length arguments there we go all right <laughs> all right thank you guys very much for watching and tune in for the next tutorial peace